Hi, I'm Blake Schwank with Colorado Computer Support. And if you are overwhelmed, like a lot of us are, with CMMC compliance and what you have to do and what is CMMC, I want that's what this episode is about. We are going to talk about what is CMMC, do you have to be CMMC compliant, what are the three levels, and do you have to make your entire company compliant? So join us, and uh, I'll see you in a minute to, to review these topics. So the first thing I want to review is what is CMMC? CMMC is the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification. It is a U.S. Department of Defense program that applies to the defense industrial-based contractors, those people that are doing business with the DOD. And it's a unifying standard to make sure contractors are actually following what they're supposed to to, to prevent or protect sensitive information. And CMMC is the vehicle the government uses to audit companies to make sure that they are complying with NIST 800-171, because DOD contractors have been required to comply with NIST 800-171 since January 1st of 2018. The number two thing that I wanna talk about is, does my company need to be CMMC compliant or CMMC certified? Do I have to follow the rules? And the answer is yes, if you possess FCI or CUI. Now, what are FCI and CUI? FCI is Federal Contract Information, which is information that's not intended for public release that is provided for or generated by the government under a contract. Um, so it could be billing, could be website stuff, but it's, it's stuff that is not available to the public. The second thing is controlled unclassified information, CUI. CUI is information that the government requires safeguarding and protection against dissemination. Now, how do you know if you have CUI or if you have FCI? If you go out to www.archives.gov, you can search there for the term CUI or controlled unclassified information, and you will come up with a website underneath archives.gov that contains all that information so you can decide whether or not you have CUI. The other thing is when you respond to a contract presented by the government or an RFP, it's going to identify whether or not there's FCI or CUI in there. The government will tell you. So that's the answer. Okay, number three, what are the three levels of CMMC compliance? Now these are all based on NIST SP 800-171. Um, and what they do is they take those controls and they break them down into three levels. The first level is foundational. Um, if you have FCI, then you must comply with level one. Level one is just 17 controls and six domains of cybersecurity best practices. And, and so if you, if you only have FCI, you do that and you can self attest. The second level, which used to be level three of the old uh, CMMC uh, uh, model, the level two is advanced. Now that has 110 controls and 14 domains of, of controls. And that is for advanced cybersecurity, and it's for companies that are just working with CUI. Remember, CUI is controlled unclassified information, and it will need to align with those 110 controls and 14 standards. Level three is expert. Now, expert is going to be the big guys, the, the, the big defense contractors that you see in the news and stuff. Um, you know, it's going to be Raytheon and, and those kinds of guys. Um, and those need to comply with over 110 um, rules, um, controls, and those are, are cybersecurity um, controls that are designed to reduce advanced persistent threats. So hopefully that helps clarify a little bit. If you go out and start Googling or you give us a call, we can talk through what the three different levels are and whether or not they apply to your business. Most likely, if you're working in, as a defense contractor, you're gonna have to comply with CMMC level two. Fourth topic we wanted to cover today is does your entire organization have to be compliant with CMMC and NIST SP 800-171? And the answer is no. You do not have to do your entire business. That would be prohibitively expensive for a lot of you. So 
you can do something that uh, we call an enclave. So let's say you have a, a business with 100 employees and you build something uh, for, the civilian, uh, for the civilian industry. Um, and yet you only have 20 employees that work in the defense industrial base that has a DOD contract uh, tied to it. We can help you out by providing the tools and the expertise necessary to segment that off. So you have your 80 employees working on your civilian business. We then take the other 20 employees, put them in an enclave. It takes a separate network. It takes separate expertise on the management and the networking and the tools that are used. But that allows you to reduce your cost by only um, having to comply with those 20 employees. Not everybody can help you do that. We can help you do it at Colorado Computer Support. We have something that's called co-managed IT, where you can keep your IT guys working on the other 80 people, or if they really want to get into the defense contracting stuff, maybe your internal employees go to work on the 20 employees and make sure that they're compliant, and then we can help out because your other 80 employees are still going to need help. If any of that uh, uh, these four things we've talked about, if you need help trying to sort them out, please give us a call at Colorado Computer Support. We uh, are here in Colorado Springs, but we can uh, go wherever you need us, work remotely. Uh, we're experts at this and a number of other IT uh, solutions that we can provide you. Um, our phone number is 719-439-0599, and you can find us on the web at www.coloradosupport.com. We are going to have a whole series of these CMMC videos um, and training. If you would like to follow these, if you would like to get notified when more come out, please click, click below um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, and Twitter. So have a great day.